Hello friends, continuing from the last video, we were in the process of drawing the box and whisker plot and calculating the summary statistics about the night room rates of 25 hotels in October and January in autumn. So before going into uh, doing it on the calculator, I would like to explain what summary statistics is and how it is calculated. So summary statistics is also in some books called five number summary. Now five number summary are five measures which starts with the minimum value, the lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and maximum. Now minimum and maximum is easy. You can understand the minimum and maximum. Now to calculate each of these statistics, what we do is we order them from the lowest to the highest, which I, which we saw in the last uh, video, how to order them. So here we have got the data set of October ordered from the lowest to the highest. In the same way, uh, I have we did there for January. So that's the first thing that you do to calculate the summary statistics. Now median is in fact the middle of the given data so here we have a data set of 25 values so if you order them from the lowest to the highest uh, you can understand the 13th value would be the middlemost value which is considered to be the median the lower quartile and upper quartile are also in in a way median but the only difference is lower quartile is the median or the middle of the lower half. That is the middle of the values between the minimum and the median. And the upper quartile is the middle of uh, the values between median and maxima. So what I mean is, uh, as we just saw, the median of uh, these 25 values would be the 13th value so in the case of October, the 13th value, if you order them from the lowest to the highest, you can find that it will be 48. To calculate the me lower quartile, what we do is we, cal we find the middlemost of the 12 values that are before median. So if there are 12 values before median, the middlemost values would be between the 6th and the 7th value. You can confirm it by ordering them from the lowest to the highest. Uh, same way for January. So let us see how to draw the box and whisker on a calculator. So this is where I got confused. So first go to your setting uh, for graph one, which is our October values. We know the October values in list three. The frequency is one because if you look at the data set, each of these values coming one or one by one so that's why we take we put frequency as one so put the frequency as one for graph two confirm again it's median box we are interested to calculate the uh, statistics and the box and whisker of january which is in list four and frequency is one so that's confirmed so you can exit from there and this is where we need to go to draw it so go to select confirm that uh, your stats graph 1 and stats graph 2 is on and then you click F6 which will draw the box and whisker plot side by side. So here we go. So this is your box and whisker plot. So this is of October and this is of January. Okay. Now if you look at these box and whisker plot, you can very clearly see the median of October is almost the same as the uh, lowest value of January. Okay, and uh, if you, this is the maximum of October, and this is the medium of median of January. So the maximum of January is less than the median of uh, January. I'll repeat the. Uh, the 
maximum value of October is less than the median value of January. I'll continue in the next video. Thank you.